Hello, my name is Jamie Lipton and I teach trombone and euphonium at Henderson State University in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. This video will deal with Rochu or Bordoni number 13 in E flat major. If you're reading treble clef, it's going to be an F major with one flat instead of three flats. Um, the key signature is not too bad on this one, but the time signature may be something you're not used to. 3-8 means that each bar gets three beats and the eighth note gets the beat. It seems a lot like 3-4, which also gets three beats, except the quarter note gets the beats. So all that means is that where you're used to seeing a quarter note, you're going to see an eighth note instead. It's like 3-4 with all the note values cut in half. So where you're used to seeing a quarter note, you'll see an eighth note, and that gets the beat. Where you're used to seeing um, an eighth note, you'll see 16th notes, um, two 16th notes to the beat. And the note that fills up the whole measure is a dotted quarter note in 3-8 as opposed to a dotted half note in 3-4. So it might help you to go through this with a metronome, maybe conducting 3-4 time uh, as you count this, as you count this etude. Um, another thing you're going to want to be aware of is that this is marked andante cantabile. So it's a slowish tempo, and cantabile means singing. So you're going to want to use vibrato in this one. Vibrato is when you oscillate the pitch a little bit to warm up the sound. as opposed to a straight tone, which sounds like this. The way you produce vibrato, most brass players will use their lips by going wah, 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 in a very small motion, which is something you're going to have to practice, but it would be great for you to practice this so that you could apply it to these cantabile Bordoni etudes. Um, another thing that you're going to want to be aware of, and this is the grace notes. Grace notes come, in this, in this etude at least, they come right before the beat. Uh, you want to make sure that they're still audible, though, that they don't happen so quickly that your audience can't hear them. For instance, that was a pretty good one. Here is an example of a bad grace note. You didn't really have a chance to hear it, so make sure that you, it should be, it should be short, but it should come right before the beat and it should be audible. Um, Make sure that you do all of the slurs that are on this page. Almost everything is under a slur, and you're going to want to really blow between the notes to get your slurs as, as smooth as possible. It's not enough to just not tongue. You just you have to really move the air between the notes so that they really connect. Um, also, make sure that you know that rollantando means slow down, and then a tempo means go the tempo you were going before the rollantando. So let's hear a little bit of this one. Thank you. 
that helps you prepare. <laughs>